This week, wealth inequality and the great equalizer. Click on the banner above to learn more about our sponsor, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Welcome back to the Industry Leader Update. This week, we're gonna discuss wealth and income inequality, but we're gonna pull back from the distasteful political debates that continue to rage on about the haves and the have-nots. But we're gonna instead look at the clear and present reality. The Pew Research Center made these startling findings. The wealth gap between upper income and lower and middle income families has grown wider this century. Upper income families were the only income tier able to build on their wealth from 2001 to 2016, adding 33% at the median. Why such a disparity? It's a good question. Pew says the reason for this is that middle income families are more dependent on home equity as a source of wealth than upper income families. With home equity playing a crucial role for middle-income Americans, reverse mortgages and equity extraction loans for that matter will become even more essential. And that brings us to the opportune moment in which we find ourselves today. Home values across the nation remain relatively stable in most markets. They're even increasing in some and interest rates are at historic lows. So no one has to spell out that that means that more homeowners are gonna qualify today so they can pay off their existing mortgage balance, eliminate their monthly mortgage payments, and perhaps even have access to a line of credit for future use. While the coronavirus does continue to chip away at the long-standing prejudices against the reverse mortgage loan, many may think that they can actually wait this one out. And I really don't blame them for pushing it off. It's human nature to deny one's unpleasant circumstances or even the inevitable until this situation becomes unbearable. What kind of unbearable? Falling home values and an increasing cost of living. If you were a working aged adult in the 1970s, you know that scenario is not a stretch. So how do we proactively reach out to the middle income households who are unknowingly dependent on their home equity? Well, it's gonna require a shift of sorts. Case in point, since March, approximately 25% of all HECM FHA case numbers come from HECM to HECM refinances. And that percentage is likely to continue or even increase as world banks are keeping their benchmark lending rates near zero. The question is, how would our loan volumes fared if we had more normal interest rates, that is ones that are higher, and with other factors such as home values remaining the same? Something to consider as we eye growth during what is certain to be a growing economic pressure on the older, non-affluent homeowner. And this is where a reverse mortgage is poised to cushion some of that wealth inequality. One thing that has slowed income disparity is actually the growth in the medium household income, believe it or not. The Pew Research Center found that American households' incomes have increased 49% more than they were in 1970, but one must also account for economic downturns, what we refer to as recessions in recent generations. Now Pew attributes some of the income shortfalls to two recessions since the year 2000, excuse me, that is the 2001 tech crash and the 2007 and eight great recession and housing crash. They claim it took until 2015 for household incomes to recover from the 2008 levels. Now keep in mind, this was all BC, that is, before coronavirus. Now Pew's chart of economic and income recovery and recession dips will add another valley. And just before this show's recording, the news broke that the US GDP or gross domestic product in the second quarter of 2020 plunged by 32.9% as a result of the virus economic shutdown. That decline surpasses any that has ever been seen in the last two centuries, including all recessions and the Great Depression of 1929, reports CNBC in their July 30th post. Bottom line, the numbers of course are alarming, but all self-inflicted, with about half of the quarter reflecting almost full shutdown and the other half the slow reopenings, said Peter Bachfar, Chief Investment Officer at the Bleakley Advisory Group. The economic hole that we do find ourselves in is gonna require some time to dig out of. And we're gonna certainly see a bounce back of sorts after we hit the bottom. But the question is, what about the older American homeowners? They're gonna to have to make some very difficult choices in soon. The most difficult question being, do I wait it out and risk that my home value is gonna drop or do I get a reverse mortgage today before I find myself in a potentially worse situation? So how do we begin to reach out to these at-risk households? That's the million dollar question. And how can we grow as an industry outside of Heckam to Heckam refinance transactions? 
Those are the pragmatic considerations that we face. So please comment with your thoughts on where we should be going and how we can reach out to the at-risk homeowner more effectively today outside of refinance transactions and as economic need grows. Don't forget, you can share this video with other reverse mortgage professionals. You can do that using the social media links on this page. And if you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. That way you never miss an upcoming episode. Thanks for joining us and be sure to return next week for more reverse mortgage news, commentary, and analysis here at the Industry Leader Update.